We still don't really know how benign tissue turns malignant. Better genetic clues will help. Previously, we sequenced cancer tissue in bulk, destroying the structure we're looking at to look for genetic mutations. This method allowed us to estimate how groups of cells with common mutations, clones, are related to each other, creating a phylogenetic tree. But we couldn't tell where the clones came from and ignored the complex structure of benign and malignant tissue. With new spatial transcriptomic technology, we can now analyse both the genetics and the spatial landscape of tissue. We've sampled multiple sites in several organs and inferred their genetic status from their transcriptome. Rather than bulk analysing each tissue section for one genetic readout, we instead get several thousand spot sequences per sample, each to a resolution of around 10 cells, and we can allocate each spot to a clone allowing us to create a phylogenetic tree that parallels the transition from benign to malignant tissue. We found multiple subclones within an area of tissue, and surprisingly, we found genetic changes thought unique to cancer are also found in seemingly healthy tissue. This detailed, spatially resolved clone map raises many questions about the timing of genetic changes and the difference between high and low-grade tumours with profound implications for cancer diagnosis and treatment.